let's get into this walkthrough. D to D, I'm gonna do both an ebook and a paperback. So let's go through it. You log into your D to D account, and then I'm going to change the publisher and add a publisher called Andy. I'm gonna choose author names. I'm just gonna call it Andy. It does not contain inappropriate things, does not contain in, uh, does not contain content that is appropriate inappropriate for minors. So this is kind of like the 18 plus thing is for a general audience. I don't know which one you're gonna select. But let's say I've got a dummy cover art, which is the D to D sample page that I've just created. So let me just show you that. This is the cover, ebook cover. And the reason we're doing ebook first is because the paperback will use the ebook cover and then extrapolate for a paperback full spread. So you'll see that later. But basically, I'm using this as a uh, dummy file. Okay, just, just as an example. So, book title over here, add that. And then, if you want, you can put your search terms in. These are like keywords. It says adding keywords can help readers find your title. Be sure to list your keywords by priority. Not all vendors are able to take an unlimited number of keywords. So you have to be um, strategic about how you use your keywords. For example, Amazon accepts the first seven keywords. Make sure you um, use that properly. Anyway, BISAC or BISAC, <laughs> I don't know how people pronounce it. Um, you choose your BISAC if you want. Uh, I don't know, I'm used to nonfiction myself, but let's say, let's say we're doing fiction and I've got a dummy file for that. Let me just show you the dummy file. So people are all aware. This is the dummy page, a sample, title page, copyright page, table of contents, and then chapter one. And I've got just sample words. It's, it's not important what the actual words are, you know? Um, so I've got five chapters, chapter two, and then just bear with me here, chapter three, um, and then chapters four and five. I'll just scroll through quickly. So there's chapter four here, and then it goes on. So this is like a, 11,000, so chapter five here. This is an 11,000 word pay, um, book. Well, I've selected six words, but if you click on it, 11,639 words in total. So just over 10,000, which is fine. And then you got the about the author and acknowledgement. So I'm gonna use this as my, just a dummy file basically. So I'm gonna add, let's say two, I don't know, um, fiction, action, adventure, and I am doing thrillers. So I'm gonna click on thriller. So I haven't published anything yet like fiction wise, but there we go. So it comes up with this and now I'm gonna fill a uh, browse of manuscript and D to D sample, you can see that. So let it just upload and I'm gonna put my release date like, <laughs> let's call it 2025 sometime, December, 2025. Actually, you know what I'll do January or February, February, because people may want to have a Valentine's thing. So TBC, I like to put TBC over here. Um, we'll return to this later. I, I definitely will return to it. Short descriptions, if you want, you know, a shorter sale description of your book will appear on Smashwords sales page. So if you want, you can put a short description here. And this one, I'm gonna say TBC will return later to this. Um, don't worry about, you know, these are just giving you an, a, a reason to come back to this. Is this a collection? No, it's not in my case. You can add collaborators if you want or non-author contri contributors if you want. Give me a free ISBN, I think. If you want, you can use your own ISBN, okay? But the print and ebook must not match. So I'm gonna just save and continue. I may, let's see if it lets me, okay, it's not letting me go through, okay. We'll have to add wording later on fill in this space later copy all that and then i'm going to copy all that as well and then save and continue and look d2d's system has picked up everything title page copyright page dedication okay it doesn't have a dedication but yeah look at this the chat's layout that these um, that is picked up so it's got a title page it's got a copyright page and if you want, you can put the about the author page as well. And you can put about the publisher as well, if you want, you know, you don't have to. Um, help, these are my chapters because I've got a couple of extra at the end, like about the author and acknowledgements. So let's see, formatting. Okay, so I probably have to format this, but let's skip this because I'll form, I'll do a video on formatting in, in the future and we'll use um, 
Atticus to do that. But basically, you have your ebook file essentially, and then you upload it to D2D. And there we go, you can choose your formatting on the ebook style. Well, in, in this case, the ebook isn't too, too, too important because it's a reflowable format anyway. So, yeah, you can choose your style over here. Let's say you want some modern watercolor, um, minimal, you know, this is all purpose. But if you wanted a mystery and a thriller, you could do a classy mystery, and I'll have some kind of, you know, little little bits. So these are all built in, so it's it's pretty pretty nice. And then if you don't want to do anything, like if you don't want to publish, all you have to do is download the Mobi EPUB or PDF. So literally, you can use D2D to, to format your book for you. In this case, I'm gonna just save and move along, and just to give you an idea of what what the next page is. I'm not actually gonna publish this. This is the final page basically before you publish, you set your pricing. If you want to use D2D for ebook, you can click on Amazon. In this case, I am not. So my suggestion personally, this is what I do. I go to KDP for everything except expanded distribution. So I will do ebook, I will do paperback, but I will do that only for Amazon. So everywhere else I will use D2D and that's my preference. So there we go. Um, and one of the reasons I like DCD is because it gives me um, access to a wide variety, including libraries. Like no one talks about this, but I've got quite a few library downloads, um, either on ebook or, or, or audiobook. And then once you've got that, you know, you can submit that. Okay, so this is the ebook. Let's go to the paperback and you'll see what I mean when we get to the paperback as to why I started this for ebook first. So if you wanted, you could. So this is the ebook all set up. It's still in draft, but if you don't want to publish it, that's all cool. And you can literally download the, the files that they formatted for you for free, <laughs> okay? I'll do a separate video on formatting with Atticus. For now, let's jump into the print book. You can start your print book. So if you don't, you can just delete print book. That's fine. Start your print book. Let's go through all the details. So over here, I'm going to use ebook file. I'm just going to essentially carry over everything from the ebook. It's so, so, so convenient. I cannot emphasize this. There's no faffing around with other things. And if you want, you can, you know, go through all these things again. I'm going to use a free ISBN because I don't have an allocated ISBN at this time. You can revisit this later. So it's going to load the preview. Just have a look. And this is where you need as a, as a print copy or print format, you need to decide whether you want cream or white paper on the interior pages. What, what kind of trim size, they call it trim size, essentially is the internal pages. You can change that. They got five by eight, five point two five, and so on. You know, these are the standard ones. And essentially D to D uses Ingram Spark for their um, distribution. So those are standard. And you can have a look if you want, you know, on the internal pages, but it's gonna be very boring in my case because <laughs> I haven't really formatted. Let me include, okay, it says, it needs a minimum page of 64 page count. Okay, so I probably should add a few more pages, <laughs> okay? But essentially you can just do the same thing, all right? Apply changes. Okay, it's a bit short on the um, 54 pages. Let me go down a size maybe, apply changes. 62 pages. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna go to my, my Word document and I'm gonna just add another chapter. So this is chapter five. I'm gonna add, copy that and I'm gonna insert a page break and I'm gonna do a chapter, oh, a chapter six, almost the final chapter. And I'm gonna do another one and it's gonna be chapter seven. And that should take me over um, the 64 page limit requirement. So yeah, there is a minimum page count, which is not unreasonable. Final, final final chapter. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to ignore that. Okay. I'm going to save that. So let's go back to details. I'm going to leave page. So this is just me using a um, updated sample just to get the extra pages. So there is a minimum page limit, which is not unreasonable. Otherwise the printers will have problems. So I've uploaded that new one. All the thing, all the other um, steps are the same. Let it just think about it. I'm going to go to the smallest trim size and include a table of contents and then apply changes. Hopefully this takes it up to 64. Okay, there we go. It's 72 pages using a five by eight and I can select white or cream paper as you can see here. I think I, I like cream paper for fiction 
myself just personally so yeah you can even do advanced editing so page numbers chapters you can start on number pages start on choose a chapter or section title from the drop down list that has been automatically identified from your book this will set the chosen section as page one so you can so in my case it'll be page one for chapter one <laughs> so it's okay header text location all but first page normal page number top or bottom up to you you can put it your chapter up your page numbers at the bottom chapter page numbers you can do bottom or none so there we go um, and you can use the our um, automatic um, editing thing to do phrase caps drop caps let's just have a look let's go into chapter one and um well i think because um start all chapters on the right as well so that you got to apply changes to see to see the changes so this has not got the apply changes so let's just apply changes and see what happens i don't know what i've clicked i've just clicked on something okay this is none so let's say we want to drop cap on both and we're going to start all changes on the right hand side let's see if it changes this it should and there we go so we got drop cap and then we've got all the chapters starting on the right hand side which is just traditional save and continue or you can download a pdf for preview if you'd like so then you can have a final look now this is where it it does the cover bit and if you want they will do an automatic cover for you so you could upload this is my preference my preference is i get people to do my covers and then i upload the file of the full wrap this is the full wrap so it's the front spine and back cover um, we can have a look at the lines if you want you know so if you're a designer if you're designing your own you can have a look at where the lines are but you can see it's put your title and your um, author name and then this is your well my ebook cover and this is a sample of what it would look like with the isbn box here and you can get the back wording over there if you'd like or you can change it to over, change it over here print cover description back cover you know bio so yeah i mean basically just extrapolates your front cover to the back quite easily and save and continue i'm not going to publish this i'm just doing a walkthrough today and then we'll go through a walkthrough of the formatting for the interior files. I'm going to use that dummy cover again. So yeah, projected royalties at $5.99. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to make bank on this. And then you obviously have to confirm if you are the content creator or you've secured the rights for this book or if it's public domain and then you've got additional confirmations to do. So that is basically the ebook and print book run through if you want to use D to D for your um, publishing wide. So that that's my preference. But as I said earlier, I use KDP for ebook and print book, and I only and I do not do not turn on expanded distribution. So what will happen is D to D will distribute to everywhere except Amazon for the print book. So that's for the ebook where you can actually click on which or where you do not want to publish to. So Amazon is not clicked. So that's for the ebook. Now for the print book. What will happen is D to D, because it distributes via Ingram Spark, does not have an option to turn off Amazon distribution. So what will happen with the print book is it will distribute to Amazon, but because you are or I am already published on Amazon, the um, Amazon listing will supersede the D to D or Ingram Spark listing. So you'll only see one listing essentially. Especially, just make sure you use your own ISBN. Otherwise, there is a risk that you'll see it as two different products, you know, so that's something to be aware of. The other thing to be aware of is before you click approve on the print or the ebook, make sure that the ISBNs, you've got your ISBNs for, for starters, you can't, you know, use the free ISBNs and publish to different places. Um, but if you're using your own ISBNs, um, make sure you click publish on print book at the same time as the KDP publishing. So when you publish to KDP and you publish to DCD, make sure they are about the same time. So you don't get the, uh, like, don't leave it for days or weeks, you know, because then you have the, this ISBN is already in use. And then you may have some issues trying to get that ISBN released from somewhere else. So I just don't want to have any of that hassle. I just click publish on both KDP and DCD at the same time. And then it kind of resolves that issue. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about with um, expanded distribution on the paperback rights and pricing over here, pricing royalty and distribution, distribution, expanded distribution right there. Okay, so I'll, I, I'll show you expanded distribution right here. Make sure that is not ticked if you're using the paperback distribution for D to D. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, any questions, feel free to drop in the comments. Do you use D to D? Let me know. What, what are your thoughts? Until next time, hope you have a great day.